Hey Plant Fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is what's left of my jungle. And today we are doing our final, final moving with plants vlog. So I literally just finished editing and uploading the last one. And uh, this is kind of like a continuation of that. So today, what I need to do is get all of my plants packed up. <laughs> really, what's left of them? There's not too many left, but like there's still a decent amount left. David needs to help me take these off the wall and all that good stuff. So that'll be fun. But... Moral of the story is we have a lot to do today. So my first thing that I think I'm going to do is actually take the plants that are left out of the greenhouse in the spare bedroom, spray them down. Some of them have died since the last time that I did this, um, which is unfortunate, but that just kind of happens when you have a pest that goes on for a while and the plants get neglected on top of it so nothing devastating all of the plants that I really really love are okay except for the one which is my aglionema picked up tricolor I can show you it's literally just like a floppy stick at this point in time so I don't really know what happened to that it was growing and it was happy and I guess it just couldn't handle the thrips so the rest of the plants that I showed you in the last vlog seem fine, so I am hoping, praying, that we have eradicated the thrip problem. It's my cat and his blanket. So yeah, that is, that's our plan for today. So I am going to do the best that I can to fill up that same black bin with all the plants but first I want to show you what I'm working with so let me turn you around okay so this is my view from my bed this whole top shelf has been cleared off this shelf needs to be cleared off and then the very few plants that I do have left on this dresser need to be packed up I'm worried about some of these taller plants and have no idea where I'm gonna fit them but we're gonna figure it out and we're gonna make it work so I had my utility cart here that has been moved this is just a pile of crap that I need to go through and probably throw most of it out but you know how things like to pile up most of my closet is empty everything that's in there is stuff that I am not taking with me for the most part except for my like hooded cropped sweatshirts and stuff that I wear to the gym so other than that, that, that's pretty much it. We still have some shoes. Like, I literally just have a pile of shit that I need to go through. But my Hoya window is empty. It just has the one Hoya left in it. And then over here, I've got a few more plants. So I'm thinking that I'm actually going to try and bring this shelving unit with me since we haven't put up the shelves in the bedroom yet. And I don't want to go crazy with any kind of commotion for the first like few weeks that my cat is there so the shelves are probably not going to go up until the end of June early July when David gets back from Tennessee and we're a bit more settled so I do have the shelf for here <laughs> as well because we made a makeshift Hoya shelf but you know, we've moved everything. So it's just like these bigger plants that I worry about, like my Marble Queen. And she's on this big, huge, beautiful tray leaf trellis that I just, I don't know where I'm going to put them. So hi, that's me. And uh, yeah, I've got to clean off my whole dresser. I got to take all this stuff with me. So it's going to be fun. That's, that's what my bedroom's looking like right now. And then in here, this is the spare bedroom, and this is what my greenhouse is looking like. So the whole top shelf I've cleared off because that was the shelf that I was able to spray down twice before bringing. So these rest of them have only been sprayed down once. I'm going to spray them again today. Um, but you could see that 
that's all that's left of my aglionema. Let me get in here because everything needs to come out of here and this is getting thrown out today. Um, I don't know anybody who wants it, so I can't really do anything about it. Plus, it's, it really wasn't expensive. So that's my aglionema pictum tricolor. <laughs> this is a uh, oop. This is a hoya that I've been holding on to for a friend. Um, I need to check my messages. I feel like I haven't heard from her. I gotta send her her plants. So everything in here is looking pretty sad. Um, this one looks like it's bouncing back though, the philodendron may mayoi I don't know. See, like thrips just hate. They hate new growth. Well, they love new growth. They love to eat it. So this probably needs to come out of here and do some something. <laughs> you know, good stuff. Um, this needs to come out of here and do something as well. This is some sort of plant that I forget the name of. Um, my Raphidophora decursiva is going nuts. So these need to come out for sure and get sprayed. My Anthurium is looking really sad, so that definitely needs to come out and get some love. My Raphidophora hayi is 100% are just donezo. This red pot here was a Geogenanthus that I murdered. This one, I think, was a Bambino. Yeah, Alocasia Bambino. This one should come back, though, if I put it in the greenhouse and water it regularly. Um, it should come back. Alocasias are pretty good about that. And then, yeah, some dead plants, some sad plants. But um, we're figuring it out. They definitely got, like, this string of turtles is just really, really sad. Like, does anybody want to rehab this because I'm probably just going to throw it out. So most of these are going to get tossed, unfortunately, and the rest of them are going to get sprayed down and watered and go in this bucket. So that's my story. There's a few plants in here that are staying. My mom is going to keep my philodendron Birkin because she's been watering it and it's pretty happy with her here it looks like it's reverting but she doesn't care she likes it so and then I have some sad plants over here my Adansonii has some thrip damage so I wanted to spray this down before I bring it over new leaf looks okay though so that's good I have sprayed it a few times so some of these newer leaves don't look bad but she's gonna have to get cut and and start her over so she's going crazy trying to get this babe to be really big up a pole you guys know how much i love adansonii um and then just some more sad dead plants this was my peru so i'm glad i bought a new one um you guys would have seen in my last plant shopping video that i got a new Monstera Peru. So lots of trending tropicals pots, <laughs> lots of things that need to be packed away for sure. But I mean, that's pretty much it. I don't think that all my plants are going to fit in this one bin. So we're going to have to come back for some of them. Um, and then hopefully David will be able to come down and help me and pack up his car as well. So yeah, I'm going to get to it. I'm going to take all these plants out and I'm gonna spray them down with Captain Jack's so let me show you real quick I get the concentrated one which I know is much more expensive but it is worth it in the long run because all you need is the tiniest little drop of this this lasts you for so long even if you're using it every two weeks like I am <laughs> so I take the tiniest little bit of this concentrate. There's like a thing on the back here somewhere where it tells you how to measure it. And I have my little pump sprayer. That's a continuous sprayer. So it just makes life a whole hell of a lot easier. So that is what I'm going to do. I put a little tiny bit of this because it's concentrated in the bottom. And then I put room temperature ish water in here and we spray the plants down you want to make sure you get the front of the leaves the back of the leaves the stems i'll even spray the top of the soil it is fine for this to go into the soil it is non-toxic 
but you definitely still want to be careful to keep it away from kids and pets when it's still wet. I like to put them in the bathroom and put the fan on and let them do their thing. So Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew, definitely the way to go to murder some thrips. But keep in mind, I know I've said this before, but I will say it again in this video just to make sure that you know thrips lay their eggs within the leaf tissue. So just treating them once is not enough. They have about a two week life cycle. So when you spray them, you're killing the adults. You are not killing the eggs that they may have potentially laid within the leaves. Do you understand what I mean? So you want to make sure that if there are any very heavily damaged leaves, like I said in my last video, I will remove them, especially if they're older leaves, because the probability that they have some eggs in there is completely unknown. And why risk it if you can just throw it away? Like people freaked out in my last video when I cut back my Alocasia cupria because it was so badly damaged from the thrips. I literally cut all of the leaves off and I just had the rhizome left and I stuck it in water and I did not know what was going to happen leading up to showing you what it looks like now. So let me show you what happened. Put it in water, threw it over here and it popped out this new leaf. I did the same thing with this other alocasia here and I mean literally just threw them in water and they were fine. So that's that's what I've got going on there. So moral of the story, if you have a very thrip infested plant, it is best to cut it back if you can and then just keep treating it every two weeks, like stay on top of it. Keep it isolated for the first two weeks if you can before reintroducing it to the rest of your plant collection. But the fun part of having thrips is if you have one plant with thrips, you 100% are going to want to spray down your whole entire collection. Start with the immediate area around where you found it because they will travel, but they don't necessarily travel like that quickly. When they find a plant that they like, they stay there. So they do fly, but they don't necessarily like fly all over the place, if that makes sense. I don't really know how to explain it. So they do kind of have an affinity for like more leafy philodendrons and pothos and stuff like that. So hoyas and succulents and cacti are not immune to having thrips, but they don't really get damaged from them, if that makes sense. Like they won't like hold on to them. If that makes sense. So that is my little story about thrips. I am going to go and take care of that and then I can show you guys... The process of me taking down my uh my greenhouse and it's gonna be really weird I'm gonna have to vacuum that corner out probably it's gonna be really dirty but yeah that's the plan I gotta do some laundry and some cleaning and organizing and all that fun stuff so I will keep you updated as we go today is Wednesday June 1st just for reference and I'll be seeing you later and then sporadically throughout the week so i'm gonna go <laughs>
Hey fam. Walking out of my job for the last time and it's really weird. Just, you know, throwing out the trash. It's fine. Everything is fine. And, uh, oh, I just touched my hand with the... It's fine. Anyway, <laughs> just wanted to say hi. This is weird. I don't have anybody else to talk to about my emotions, so I'm talking to you guys. And, um... I appreciate you for allowing me to vent all this time so that's my story tomorrow morning David is coming down and it's our final moving day so this is weird I've been at this job for like almost eight years walking out for the last time is bizarre but it's been a good go and um, I will keep you guys updated. Tomorrow is gonna be a little bit of a hectic day, but I will do my best to try and vlog a little bit. We'll have the cat in the car <laughs> crying the whole time. We're probably both gonna be crying realistically, so there's that. But yeah, that's my story. <laughs> I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. And um, I also just wanted to say to my plant fam members, you guys are amazing. I appreciate you. I vented a little bit in the group chat this morning and y'all are just so cute and so supportive. And I am so grateful that I have such an amazing little family and I couldn't be more grateful. So you guys should definitely come on over and join the plant fam because they're just like the sweetest people in the world like if you want an online family this is the place to have one so come on over we don't bite anyway it is hot as hell in this car so i'm gonna shut up and i will see you guys tomorrow good morning plant fam it is sunday i don't know what day it is the fourth the fifth the sixth i think it's the sixth already Jeez, really anyway it's moving day so i'm it's i've been cleaning and emptying things out there's literally like nothing here which is weird all of my plants have been taken down i can show you better but crash is confused i'm sorry baby you're so confused and um i keep trying to explain to him that he's coming with me my baby, I'm not leaving you. No. <laughs> so cute. But I packed up all of his toys and all of his stuff. I still gotta pack up, like, clean out his litter box and pack that up. And, um, like, his food and everything. So, he's just a little confused. <laughs> it's okay, Bubba, you coming with me this time. I'm not gonna leave you again so yeah that's my story everything is like done for the most part which is weird everything's like empty it's very strange um hi that's my <laughs> my mirror but like even my shelves I took down because I'm actually bringing them with me temporarily because we haven't put up the shelves in the bedroom yet and I just need a little bit more surface area for some of my plants so there's still a few hanging out in here um the tv's coming off the wall David will be here soon I just gotta put the plants in the car it's really weird that there's nothing here he's gonna take these modern botanical frames off the wall for me as well uh, my mom is keeping my furniture. Hi, baby. <laughs> He's like, where's all my stuff, mom? Uh, yeah, my mom's keeping my furniture for right now. And uh, once we have a bigger place, I'll be able to take this with me. So that's what's happening. It's weird. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I still haven't like taken care of everything, but I'm going to come back in a couple weeks and do that but um this is what I'm looking at <laughs> so I gotta fit all of this in his car and my car as well as like all my cats stuff and this somehow so don't ask me how 
we're gonna fit it all, but we are certainly gonna try. <laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna put this big begonia. But it's fine. Everything is fine. If I leave it here, I don't trust my mom not to murder it, but um, it may have to stay here temporarily. I don't know. I have to see what we can fit in the car. So that is my Sunday morning update from me and Crusher Pants. <laughs> and I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling okay for right now. I'm just, you know, trying to get things done. I think that the emotions will probably hit me more once I'm like in the car driving. Um, but yeah, I can keep you guys updated later today or tomorrow. I have no idea how the rest of this day is going to go. I'm hoping that we can get there by like noon latest and, um, just get everything put aside at least for now and focus my attention on my cat and just have a chill day to the rest of today and tonight and tomorrow are all about you, Bubba. Just me and you. We're going to hang out. So I decided my mom's actually getting rid of this carpet in the hallway here and she bought a new one that she's been waiting to put out <laughs> until we left. I can't blame her because the cat like regularly rubs his ass on this carpet but we also got a new carpet for the bedroom and we threw out our old one but we haven't put out the new one yet because I have to bring in like his litter and his food into the bedroom temporarily to keep him separate from the other cat so I just don't want him getting food and litter all over the brand new carpet so I asked her if we can take this one because this one already has his smell all over it. So we're going to roll up this carpet and bring that with us as well and put that in the bedroom temporarily so that he has some place. He likes to lay on the carpet so, so that he has some place that feels like home. So that's our story. I can show you and give you guys updates later tonight or tomorrow morning on how everything is going and um yeah that's really it this is the final moving vlog finally right it's taken a few months but here we are and um we're getting it done so david should be here any minute and then we're gonna start packing up the cars and, and you and then you you go last you will be the last thing to go in the car and the first thing to come out of the car. I love you. He's so cute. Why are you so cute? No, don't look away. There he is. Oh, he's so precious. Yes, my chunky boy. Look at how chunky you are. Look at his belly. Look at his belly. He's like, stop it. That's my story for right now. That is what's going on. Not everything is finished, but it's okay. My mom knows that... We're just trying to get the important things over there, get everything situated, and then we can come back and kind of clean more of this stuff out. I have a lot of, like, childhood things just kind of tucked away under the bed and up in the closet that she doesn't mind if I leave here, but I just kind of want to go through and consolidate and maybe put them down in our storage unit in the basement. So, I don't know. I'm going to stop rambling. I appreciate you guys and I will see you soon. Hopefully still in good spirits. <laughs> Bubba, what are you doing? It's not time to come out of the bag yet. <laughs> He's freaking out, but it's okay because we're here and uh, this should be fun. <laughs> you ready? Come on. And directly under the bed. Okay. Understandable. Nice. You like your new little hidey hole? Yeah? <laughs> He's trying to act like himself again.
Hey fam. <laughs> so today is Saturday, June 11th. Say hi, baby. Hi. And um, we're doing well, right, bub? He's uh, no longer hiding under the bed. He's either on the bed or on top of his tree. He comes out when he wants to. Uh, they haven't, like, gotten more than a few feet from each other, and then they both get scared. But otherwise, like, everything's going really well. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're just so cute. So, um, yeah, it's been a few days. I wanted to end this vlog, and I wanted to show you um, that I put the shelf in here and how I have that set up. So everything is still kind of like, what are you whining? I'm, I'm gonna leave you alone, hold on. Everything is still kind of like in boxes and stuff. I'm trying to work on it a little bit at a time. So yeah, I'm gonna turn you around and show you what it's looking like in here. Just wanted to give you an update on this little smush. He's fine, everything's gonna be totally fine it's just too damn cute for his own good <laughs> I love him okay so this is what I'm working with right now it's not a bad setup it's cute I just can't really put anything down below I have all my books and stuff down here but I just have a lot of things that I, I still need to put away but I figured I'd show you where some of these plants ended up at least. Like my pothos and everything. So I had to move any foliage plants from up here because he'll eat them. He doesn't like Hoyas, so it's safe for the Hoyas to be here without him nibbling on them because he likes to hang out right here. So all the foliage plants are out of his reach and I'm obsessed with how this Marble Queen looks right here on my beautiful plank from Tray Leaf. This is the Zella extendable plank. I'll have that listed for you guys below with a discount code if you want to check it out. Um, you should also check out Modern Botanical. They make these cute frames. I just have them hanging out here for right now, but um, eventually they're going to go on the wall, I think, up here. But I haven't decided yet so oh well, there's my niece when she was little anyway that is it for this video i hope that you guys enjoyed coming along on the journey <laughs> for this move i appreciate you coming along with me and this concludes our moving with plants vlogs so i'm i'm hoping that um it was mildly entertaining at least, and then we were going to get back to our regularly scheduled programming very soon. So if you like this video and you want to support my channel, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There's a join button down there if you want to become part of the official plant fam. Come join the group chat. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, we're like a big family and it's super supportive and I absolutely adore every single person that is in there so come on over crush your pants is an unofficial official member you could use his emojis you have your own emoji doesn't care anyway you can super thanks me to <laughs> what is that face you can super thanks me if you want to support me. I appreciate it. And um, I hope I see you guys in the next one. <laughs> His face just makes me laugh. He's so stupid looking.